we're going to show you how to operate the roller monitor. So when you come to the screen, it's dark or black or shut off menu. If nothing turns on, wait, but it turned on, so we're good. To get it started, you can hit just row, and now you have this screen. This is the, the, the screen that you ideally want. So to get this look, you'd hit this fifth button down, because sometimes you turn the rower and you have different things that would be on the screen, different settings or different m modes for different purposes. So hit this button, gets you on the screen that you ideally want, and then you can see whether it's meters, if you hit the units button, this changes to your average 500 meter row, which we don't really use in class. Hit it again, this gives you the watts, which we don't really use in class, and then hit units again, and you have calories. So if you want to change the unit of measurement, say we're rowing for, for calories, you'd hit units until you got the calories. If we're rowing for meters, you'd hit the units button until it says meters on there. And then if you wanted to return, so you rowed, you get someone else on here, and you want to reset the rower, because you don't want to have their information on there, hit the menu button, it brings you back, and then you can hit just row. And again, the only two buttons you really have to, three buttons you have to press is this button to make the screen look nice for you, the menu button if you want to reset, and the units button if you want to change the units that it's calculating for us to measure in class. And again, to go back is here. And then just row. You don't even have to hit the just row button. You can just start rowing and it will do that for you. And then if you're rowing and you realize, oh, I don't want, I don't want calories, or, then you go to hit units until it says meters.